Hi and thank you for watching this video. As you probably know, the European Union was asked to approve an additional extension to the date on which the UK will be departing from the EU. The UK is now awaiting the EU's approval of this and the European Council's President has indicated that he would recommend to the 27 EU member states to extend the deadline until January 31st, 2020. Given everything that is currently happening in the world, I am wondering if the European Union will not also be affected by a very specific tendency that we see everywhere that we look. This, of course, is division, leading to an inability to agree on a matter. As we have seen in the UK Parliament with regards to Brexit, the current situation in the USA, as well as Israel's Knesset in forming a new government. In some of the reports that have been published today, the EU is said to have agreed in principle to approve an extension to the Brexit deadline. But here is where we have to ask the important question. Just as the UK Parliament voted to approve the Brexit deal, they could not agree on the timeline associated with it. Could it be that the EU will face a similar situation? Could it be that even though an extension to the Brexit deadline has in essence been approved by the EU, that some of the member states will fail to agree on the length of that extension, and that because of a disagreement among members that the UK may still crash out of the EU without a deal, because of another issue on which people fail to reach an agreement? Could it be that France, Germany and the Netherlands will stand at an impasse and fail to come to an agreement about the length of the extension that should be granted to the UK? and leading to the UK crashing out of the EU on October 31st without a deal. When I uploaded this video, the situation seemed quite positive at the time, with the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, indicating that the EU would consider the extension and that he would put the request to Member States in writing. This is quite significant, because how could I possibly have known in advance that France, Germany and the Netherlands would be part of those that may be standing in the way of obtaining an unanimous decision. So how am I able to see this coming before it happened? I assure you that it does not require any special abilities to discover this if you know where to look. The reason why I am able to tell you what played out with regards to Brexit before it happened is because this is part of a very evil plan that humanity's enemy, Satan, who is behind all of this, has put out in plain sight for all to see. Much of what I show you today was already penned and known as early as 1871. Our enemy enjoys flaunting his plans before the eyes of the unsuspecting peoples of the world, without them knowing what they are shown, and that is why some of what is shown is presented in a somewhat cryptic manner. He does this in order to set himself blameless, and he argues that because he has clearly shown the world what he intends to bring about, those who did not heed the warning will only have themselves to blame for what they will have to endure. However, when we have God's word, the Bible, and we have the correct understanding of what is said in the supernatural book, this plan becomes very evident to us, and you will also see how the enemy's plan that is presented to us fits into the biblical timeline. So let me share with you what was shown to us with regards to this vote ahead of time that has allowed me to know how the UK would be forced into a no-deal Brexit by the aforementioned EU member states on October 31st. On the cover of The Economist magazine for the world in 2017, there are eight cards that are displayed. One of them is the Wheel of Fortune card that has a storm illustrated in the top right corner. This storm is also shown to us on the Tower card, and in this card an association with October 31st is made. The date on which Martin Luther pinned his 95 Theses to the Roman Catholic Church doors. The tower that is destroyed represents the world's economies and I'm not going to spend too much time on explaining it in this video, but you are welcome to test the outcome if you plan to remain in the world until November 2nd. We then see the flags of three nations with political figures from those countries tied to a wheel and associated with October 31st given the storm that is also displayed on this card. It just so happens that these countries were the ones that blocked the Brexit extension, and therefore this outcome was predicted ahead of time and shown to us in plain sight before these events occurred. Do you think this is purely coincidence? We see a similar situation in this illustration from The Economist magazine for the world in 2019, 
where the UK's departure from the EU is shown to be falling apart and where we once again see France and Germany looking on. Now because we do not see the Netherlands in the second image, I was not sure whether it would be part of those who had blocked the extension. But if indeed the Netherlands formed part of a trio, you can see how it would be possible to know this before the time. Let me show you how far back this plan goes. If we go back to the letter of Albert Pike, penned in 1871, we read the following excerpt, in which what we see on this card is actually described. Then everywhere the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate those destroyers of civilization. What we are shown in this card is clearly linked to this plan that was penned in 1871. Think about it, 1871. That's very long ago. And I provide more information about this in previous videos that I have posted. In this image, the world minority of revolutionaries are identified for us that have now been responsible for bringing about the destruction of civilization when October 31st arrives. In addition, our enemy's plan also shows how President Trump's deal of the century is planned to coincide with the timing of Brexit, bringing about additional destructive aspects that will ensure that this world will never be the same again after that point. The intent is to bring about a new world order under the rulership of a person that the Bible describes as the Antichrist or the Beast. This is not the only knowledge that has been displayed in plain sight for all to see. Over the past six months, I have created eight additional videos that have been heavily suppressed by those who control the media platforms that we use. This information is extremely important, extremely important. And if you have not reviewed this information yet, and if October 31st is still a future date, you have to do what you can in order to watch this series of videos in which this plan is exposed. Your life will literally depend on it. The events that will take place on October 31st will affect every person on this earth. And the Word of God also provides clear instructions on how to escape what our enemy plans for humanity. Now I know there are many who will not believe this, even after I have demonstrated that our enemy is carrying out his plan in a predictable way that he has put out in plain sight. Others will reject this information because of their specific but incorrect understanding of what is said in the Word of God. It is up to you to decide whether you believe what you are shown today or not. If I am shown to be correct about what I have shared with you now, it should be logical to reason that I could also be proven correct on the other aspects that will follow once this plan is set in motion. Also remember that what I have shown you today is only the start of this plan. There are a lot more that will follow and it will get a whole lot worse than just having to deal with a total global economic collapse. I have shared links to videos that will be essential in your understanding of the time that we face in the description below, as well as how to understand what is written in the Bible and how to approach the time that you will face. You are welcome to copy and re-upload these videos to your channel if you are able in the few days that remain, because they and I may not be around for much longer. May this information bless you and I hope that this will help you to make the right choice in the little time that remains before us and even more so if you find yourself stuck in the new times that are coming upon the earth. God bless.